Welcome everyone. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. My name is Emma Suggett and I'm a pharmacist working for the West Midlands Academic Health Science Network or AHSN. This video is to articulate to stakeholders what will be expected of trusts in the West Midlands to support the new discharge medicine service and the standards required by the expected TCAM sequin. There's now a large amount of evidence nationally that those patients identified by hospital pharmacy teams as requiring additional support with their medicines benefit from a conversation with their community pharmacist when information is referred electronically. Those patients can then be supported by their pharmacist in the weeks following discharge to reduce the likelihood that they are readmitted due to a medicines related issue. This e-referral pathway is known as transfer of care around medicines or TCAM. And from the 15th of February, TCAM will launch in community pharmacy as the Discharge Medicine Service, a new essential service, which in the main will be synonymous with TCAM. Across the West Midlands, TCAM will, or the Discharge Medicine Service will mainly use the Farm Outcomes platform. This video will outline some of the key aspects of the service which are pertinent to acute trust making referrals. To support acute trusts, community pharmacists, PCNs and GPs NHSEI has published a toolkit which is available on their website and outlines in detail the responsibilities of all sectors with regards to the service. I would very much advise that you use the link on this slide to review the document as it covers in detail what I will only cover in brief and also provides a handy checklist to ensure that stakeholders have considered all aspects of the service. To support an integrated approach to reconciling and optimising medication regimes, a sequin proposal has been designed for 2021-22 to incentivise NHS trusts to establish a referral process to community pharmacy for provision of the NHS discharge medicine service. As yet, we have no official confirmation of the sequin, but it seems likely to go ahead in its current format outlined on this graphic from NHS EI. As per most sequins, assessment will either be quarterly or annually. In summary, the ask is to communicate changes to medicines with the patient's chosen pharmacy within 48 hours following discharge, in line with NICE Guideline 5 via a secure electronic message for 1 to 2% of all patients discharged. So you may be asking yourselves why a percentage of all patients discharged from hospital is being used as a denominator and what does one to two percent look like for your trust? The denominator has been kept broad as the aim is to incentivise NHS Trust to establish their own referral process to community pharmacy on discharge specific to local needs. Trust can use clinical expertise as well as the NHS EI toolkit to decide their own referral criteria. However, the sequin thresholds of 1 to 2% were determined by calculating the number of referrals made by NHS trusts who are already live with TCAM against the overall discharges in the same time period. This, in fact, is the same figure that was seen in Newcastle upon Tyne, who were the originators of the TCAM pathway. Using data, albeit from 2017, and which of course will not demonstrate the varied impact on discharges of the pandemic, I've made some rough calculations of what 1.5% of discharges looks like for each trust daily, and included the data on this slide for the five-day working week. Most numbers look operationally achievable for our secondary care pharmacy teams in the West Midlands. Surprisingly, this only amounts to just over 70 referrals across the entire region on a daily basis, Monday to Friday. This, of course, is only an estimation, but when translated into the number of referrals to each pharmacy across the region is likely to receive, it amounts to only one or two referrals each month for each pharmacy, not a number which is likely to cause concern to contractors at this stage. What may be more difficult to achieve is the numerator, which requires certain details to be included in the referral to ensure the quality of the information. The details are included in the bullet points on this slide. When using farm outcomes for referrals, it may be relatively simple to include any changes to the medicines in the free type box. Medicines prescribed at discharge will be communicated by the addition of the discharge letter and all the other standards required by the service are included in a farm outcomes referral. However, 
The data collection source used for the numerator will be through the data collected by community pharmacies for the NHS Discharge Medicine Services payment, i.e. NHS BSA. If community pharmacies do not see this minimum data set, then the numerator may be lower than trusts are expecting. It is possible that referrals using other electronic referral systems such as NHS.net mail may not comply or community pharmacists may simply find it difficult to find the information in the documents referred. Recognising that the numerator data used for measurement is reported by community pharmacy, the BSA will share reports of referral activity with NHS trusts for review and a challenge process will be established to enable trust to dispute data where ne needed. So in summary, there is likely to be a sequin for acute trust from the 1st of April. The ask is ref for referrals to community pharmacy of 1% to 2% of all trust discharges using any e-referral system. But I would suggest that Farm Outcomes is the simplest referral system to use to achieve the sequin. If you'd like to learn more about the Discharge Medicine Service, please listen to the video outlining the DMS, the link to which is on the agenda. Many thanks to you for listening and good luck with the sequin.